Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Karen Lair. Some Treasure Valley natives are in the Bahamas tonight, providing relief to those heavily impacted by Hurricane Dorian. The local organization Mission Aviation Fellowship transports medicine, food and clean water to hard to reach destinations, areas hit by disasters. They get there by plane. Anna Silver spoke with crews over the phone this afternoon and joins us live in studio with more. Well, staff arrived in the Bahamas on Wednesday, and there's a possibility they could send more if needed. The group always has supplies and resources ready to go anytime they need to leave at a moment's notice. With the level of devastation, it's really hard for a lot of people to continue living out there. John Woodbury with Mission Aviation Fellowship says he is helping with flight operations coordination in Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas, which he says is being used as a hub for flights and resources. People can get in and out, the right supplies can get in and out and space available. There's a lot of evacuating people out. Woodbury says MAF is not flying their own planes, but they are partnering with an organization called Samaritan's Purse. The MAF staff is helping by making sure supplies and food get to the right place, including making sure doctors and nurses get to an emergency hospital. It can handle like 100 patients, uh, 40 beds, um, and even has an operating theater. A key thing has been flying that equipment in from the U.S. Woodbury says in these situations, there are no regular days. You start forgetting what day it is because the days just start blurring together, but that's how it is in, in the initial surge phase of the response. And um, because the need is great, and so you just all jump together, help get it done as best as you can with what's realistic. Now they anticipate to have staff down there for three to four more weeks, but they'll stay as long as they're needed. Live in studio, Anna Silver, six on your side.